So we are back mm, for painting. Uh, in previous part, I have mentioned that I might use uh, some extra paint to create some golden kind of shine to it. I have two paints that could be suitable for this purpose. One of these is um, uh, Daniel Smith. Uh, it called Kinacridon Sienna and Kinacridon Gold by Halbane. I will show you how they appear. I don't want to like squeeze it. it. Just I grab a little bit on each of each color and see. So that is in acridon gold. So, okay, and let's try in acridon sienna by Daniel Smith. Like, looks like this. Not, of course, they're not identical, but they could serve uh, my purpose. In perhaps I might use this one uh, because it appears more golden when they are compared to the onions. And for that purpose, I will um, create a first initial coat using that paint clean without any uh, additions. All I want is just to create kind of underlay that will be shining through all the time kind of key color that will i hope add to the um, uh, shade of the onion skin so for that purpose i will squeeze tiny drop of it onto palette because i need Really, really tiny like this see golden or well, maybe is it golden enough to me let's see what about kinetron gold I just paint very watery layer. <laughs> Little accident. So, while I go, I will locate the size and the position for the highlight. And I will not paint it, of course. And to finish, I need to soften the edge of it. this continue to the next one more golden Same with the highlight on this thing. Softening the edges. Mm. 
Now, this is done. I will leave it to dry and we will get back uh, to continue in a few uh, minutes. Our paint is dry. Now I'm going to make a couple of um, details here. Uh, maybe you noticed I didn't paint that bit because it's a kind of different color. It's more gray. And I want to paint yellow for the uh, onion body. So that grayish color is composition of orange and blue. And it's something pale. Again, very, very um, watery. Don't need it too dark chest. Basically, kind of making maps for the color. This one also. a bit here. Same for the tip in there. Like that. So now yellow and yellow I got here. Yellow and violet. Violet I think. Very little of violet. Always try before you apply paint. And next step is creating shadows. I will make them wet on wet technique. So that means before I go for this, I will need to apply some water to a surface where they're going to be applied. Clean water. I have to make sure that the um, area that I'm treating with the water is supposed to be three, four times bigger than the future shadow in our case. So, so if say I will stop painting my shadow here, uh, I need to pass that place by like a lot to avoid creating hard edges. When I'm done applying water, I need to wait a little bit to give it time to sink. Meanwhile, I will prepare mix for the shadow, which is combination of blue and orange. And again, it has to be slightly, I mean, um, watery. So that mix will be used only. I will not use water from the jar. I'll check if my thing is gear. Okay. And I will paint initial. Shadow. And 
when I'm painting wet on wet, I'm not lifting my brush, as you can see. Always in touch with surface. I'm washing, cleaning, and I'm just trying to make the edges, edges soft. We will get back to this, definitely. And here we even can go over on the subject. White sweat. I can play with this a bit. Make it a little bit darker. So, but only while it's wet. It will be multiple layers in here. And each time, I guess, each time I will be applying consecutive layer on the shadows, I will dry it, water, then paint, dry, water, and paint. At this stage, I will leave it leave it to dry so my next when is my next layer my next stage supposed to start only when everything is bone dry 